Thursday on Street. I want to focus on the Middle East now, where the findings of the latest Arab youth survey suggest respondents believe that religion plays too big a role in the Middle East and they want reform. Dan Murphy is live uh, for us in Abu Dhabi. Tell us why this is important, Dan. Good morning. Hi there, Marty. Good morning to you. Well, the latest Arab Youth Survey also shows that they want an end to regional conflicts. And perhaps most interestingly, young Arabs are also torn over whether or not the United States is a friend or a foe. Very pleased to say that Sunil John is the president of ASDA ABCW, which has been conducting this survey every year for 11 years now. He joins me around the desk here in Abu Dhabi. Sunil, welcome into the conversation. Thanks so much for being here. First of all, what would you say is the most significant finding in this year's report, and what have we learned about this very important demographic? I think, Dan, you know, uh, the Middle East region is known for many things, including conflicts. But what is probably less known about is its very, very young demographic. 65% below the age of 30. That's 200 million Arab youth. And if you really need to understand this region, you really need to understand the hearts and minds of these people. What do they think of their present and their future? And one of the most stunning findings we have, we've seen this year is, is about uh, how uh, they see the role of religion in society. And, and they want religion to play less and less of a role. And in some ways, uh, 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 a voice that is talking about bringing about a, 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 a difference between state and religion. And that's a very, very interesting finding. But more importantly, is how young people are seeing the pressures that are coming from what we call kitchen table issues. Uh, the two top concerns that young people have is the rising cost of living and unemployment. And as you know, Dan, unemployment is at a record level in the Middle East. In fact, the highest in the world. Uh, around 30% of the 15 to 24 year uh, olds are out of work. And that is a pressing problem for the governments in the Middle East to resolve. So this is very significant for policymakers when they look over the results of this latest survey. Are they listening? Do they have the ear and the mind of young people in the region? I think more and more, uh, especially during the recent past, especially after the Arab Spring, I think governments have to listen to their citizenry. And in many ways, our poll, which is the largest of its kind, uh, of the region's largest demographic, has, has received an, a very, very good response from the government. A lot of governments are keen to know how, how, the, how the concerns, how their hopes are tracking over the last 10 years, and that's the big value. Of, uh, of the Arab Youth Survey that we bring out every year. I wanted to ask you about another aspect of the report, and I mentioned this just before as well. It also points out that the majority of young people in the region now see the United States as an enemy of sorts, which I, I think is quite interesting over an ally. And also the, the role and the influence of Russia also appears to be rising in the minds of these young people as well. So how do we explain that trend and what does it tell us? It is actually not a new trend, especially during the last uh, few years, especially after the Syrian conflict uh, 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 rose its head and Russia played a very, very significant role in Syrian conflict. I think the, the, the kind of image of Russia as an ally started increasing, especially in the Levantine region. Uh, the United States uh, is understandably less seen as an ally since they have taken uh, retreated from the region mm. in many ways. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, after the Obama uh, uh, presidency, the Trump presidency has taken a number of steps that have, uh, that have kind of created some kind of turmoil in the minds of young people, especially the ban on Muslims uh, entering the, uh, uh, the United States, the move to uh, take uh, the United States Embassy into Jerusalem and the recent decision on Golan Heights has changed how people see the United States as an enemy. But more importantly, when we ask them, who are your biggest allies, uh, they have chosen the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia as their allies. So when you see the whole foreign relations aspect, the diplomacy aspect is changing with young Arabs looking at their own leaders and the mantle of leadership has now fallen on 
to Abu Dhabi and Riyadh rather than the traditional Cairo, Damascus or Baghdad which are today not very relevant in, pub, in, in foreign diplomacy. Wow, it's really interesting, isn't it, Sunil? Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you is some of the policy action points or priorities that policymakers now need to progress in order to action some of these issues for young people in the region. What would you say is the ultimate priority now for policymakers moving forward? Just one single priority they need to focus on, Dan, is creating jobs. There, there needs to be at least 100 million jobs that has to be created in the Middle East. And every year, 2.8 million young Arabs come into the job market. If the governments do not tackle this problem, we're going to have a, a fairly a bigger problem than what we saw before. Mm, absolutely. All right, Sunil, we're out of time, so we'll leave it there. But thank you so much for unpacking the results of the latest survey for us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. That's Sunil John there from ASDA ABCW. It's back over to you. Great stuff. Thank you, Dan Murphy Live. Still ahead, 